morning. Hello and welcome to my daily vlog of life in our beef and arable farm here in South Yorkshire. I'm a little bit late today because uh, Becky's not feeling very well. So I got you two, Emma. Morning. 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 <laughs> Mummy's not feeling very well, is she? No. No. So we're gonna um, come to Grandma Debbie's, aren't we? And stay here for a bit. She's got um, sinusitis, bless her. Grandma Debbie. Oh, she's here now. Like Big Mick is here, um, so we'll go and see what he's up to in a minute. And um, yeah, one one more sleep until Esme's birthday tomorrow. So I'm hoping Mummy will get better for that because um, we've got a little party planned. Why, right, Michael? No, I'm not in a good mood this morning. So are you? I can't tell you. Okay. Not happy. I need fuck it. I need time on my own. Yeah, you had to stop yourself then, didn't you? Yeah, nearly, I did. We're nearly a swearing barrage. <laughs> <laughs> it was on fisty cuffs this morning, I can tell you. Yeah? yeah on it. Um, well, I suppose I better get doing some because I'm a bit late, aren't oh, I? Where you been? Becky's not feeling very well. I had to fetch kids. She's going to look after Bella. Mm, yeah, yeah. All three? No, two. I'm sick. I'm, I'm... Esme and Isaac. Yeah, Esme's party as well tomorrow. I don't, I don't... Were you? But like, in a, like a village hall. Where are you? I can't say. But like, okay. in the village hall, and um, Becky's obviously sorting it all out. Mm -hmm. Joe's not very good at sorting things like that. No, no, I know, that's why they're here late. <laughs> right, let's get some farming done. There they are, so jump is coming. Right, so I better jump on the 130, and we'll get some straw blown out. Jeez, this is mucky though. From all this, uh, all this straw uh, milling yesterday, wasn't it? That's it, milling. I might even run the pressure washer over it because it is literally like can't see a thing. He's helping me though. Look, even though he's not so happy, blowing the straw and giving these guys a nice clean bed. We do this every day, every single day, keep these guys happy and healthy. Well, I blasted these windows with the pressure washer, but I think the, uh, well, I, either I've missed a few bits or it just doesn't take it off same, does it, as going around with the, with a proper sponge. But time was as of the essence. Right, looks weird with that shed empty. Um, we'll get some straw blown into these. <laughs> so I can direct the sprout where I want it around the pen so that every corner a nook and cranny has got a clean area to lay on and they'll eat a bit of it as well. They do like um, chewing down on a bit of straw every now and then. We set the bales out in long lines and then we pull them in. We can use this control panel here. It's supposed to be a two-handed operation and that's setting the floor going, pulling it towards the beaters because I want to cut it so that none of the straw falls out the back. Then knife, we cut it at the side without the knots so we'll just check, yep no knots. On this side of the bale we've got two sets of knots, one here one towards the front. Now if I've not got to pull those around the corner because they really get stuck when they're going round the corner. Then uh, the bands will come out nice and easy, but if you cut them at the wrong side, you have a bit of job on. We got an email yesterday from Dr. Kate, you know who watches the channel, her and Rob, um, from America. Now, she is a doctor, and I'm not gonna say what she does because like, I don't fully understand it, but basically she's an, as I see it, She's an expert in like diseases and viruses and stuff, so she gets all those journals. Anyway, she sent me a journal um, about blue tongue. So, blue tongue affects ruminants, uh, really hits sheep hard and like what can wipe sheep out. Um, cattle, it can, um, it affects them as well. So, she read that in the Netherlands, there's a new outbreak. So we haven't had an outbreak in the UK since 2007, but um, the Netherlands have got 
um, an outbreak at the minute and it's one that can't be treated you can't you can't treat for it there's no risk to human health but animals yeah there's there's, there's no you get it and, and the sheep will die like it's untreat, untreatable um carried by midgers and basically the uk is watching the weather all the time because there's a chance it could blow across the north sea like a, the midgers could blow across and um and then, and then we have an outbreak over here. So just, just, yeah, be on, be on the lookout if you're a, far, a sheep farmer. Um, there's not a great deal you can do, I don't think. But um, if you spot it, just, just report it. I, it's going to be, yeah. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they don't come across. But just with climate change and everything, things getting warmer. Just there is a chance it could could get and spread into the UK so just just yeah I just thought I better seen as Kate sent me it and I've read it and I thought oh bloody hell this could be a bit could be a bit nasty um, I don't know if anybody remembers the previous outbreaks um, it's not something that I've ever come across um, with our cattle but I think it affects sheep more so I just thought highlight it um, and be on the lookout for it that's 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 what I thought it's coffee what what I want to know and I guess everybody else probably does Last time we saw you, we went to school for you, didn't Yeah. Really good. Right? Ah. Uh, did you bop the bullies? Could have, there weren't many days. There weren't many days, to be honest with you. They're all cheap, everyone's not there. They never do well, do they, bullies? Yeah, no, probably nice birds, though. All right. Two out of lot, I saw two gunners, that were it, rest of us. Was your wife there? Is that what you're trying to say? Oh, she was all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A good time. All right, well, good. I enjoyed it. Good night. I've seen some people in me for like 40 years. Really? It's all a babby. Ah. Then next day you were doing your gravel, weren't you? Or was ah. that your son in law who were doing that? Me, for me, me, me. I'm brain. I'm brain and bro. I'm bro? No, he did, a, I've heard that he did all barrowing. He did a fair bit, I admit. <laughs> he did all that, Jenny. Anyway, looks like we've got another Mickey here. We've got John Deere Mickey here. Yeah, we've got a good one. Yeah, look on a 6.6. Six. Anyway, I've got um, this last bale to put out. Is here with his 6.6 six, six, tent. He just brought us some um, cleanings from his um, wheat. So we'll just mill that and feed it. Oh, he's looking, he's got some dust on this, you know. What, what's going on here? Hey? It's turned from a tractor that Mick we're just going to use for shows. He really, really likes it now. His dad particularly likes it. I think that's why we've got weight block on front. He's doing a bit of ploughing at the minute. Just going to move the mixer out of the shed so that we can get this part load tipped off. Just moved the mill and now I'm just going to fetch three bales of silage round because. We might as well fetch as many as we can because it's a fair long way to travel really. We'll get these picked up. So I've just got the silage wrap off. We'll go and put this in one of the ring feeders down here. So Connor's just dropping off the 210 because we might get the plough on. Mick's just going to back this in here. I'll just watch him in actually on the 6610. So John Deere mix fetched us some uh, Hey, look, that's better. Hey. Oh, yeah, but it's, it's, know, it's shit up roads. It is better. It's good, though, isn't it? John. Excuse me. You what? Can I get one wee for my pint glass? Ah. Yeah. What, what, a pint and a half in a pint? My vodka glass. Ah. ah. <laughs> <laughs> time. Do you want that? Time spilling? for. Ah, time. Right. Do you want that spilly? Oh, you drink, you drink there. more though if you're Do doing that, that wouldn't you? You want one with a drip tree on go the go bottom in. and a tap to fill all your cups up when you're done again. Or, or your glasses. <laughs> Come on, let's get... Pot, 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 We've got to get some farming done now, mate. Oh, we'll he's getting on in there. He's getting on. Who is? Your dad? Yeah. yeah. We don't want it. We can do it after. So, me and JD Mick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> how come we're not here to put the plough on? So, Mick's going to get off on the 6610. Feel the power. And I'll get 
maybe a pat lunch together and go off with this plow. I cannot remember how many years ago it was that I last did some plowing. I reckon possibly eight to ten years since I've done any plowing. So don't hold any hopes up for anything spectacular. Um, but I should, yeah, no, I have what to do. Right, we will uh, lift the plow up. We'll get set off, probably put this on time lapse. this we got? Random motorbikes and we got a track to him from. Half expecting to be Richard Beckett. Looks like my barley's up. Got some wet patches though. Um, but yeah, it looks like um, let's put it in all right with the drill. Just this top end here, it's not been not come so great yet. Give it a bit of time and a bit of dry weather, it should be all right. All right, so just open the gates of the field. We better get in and uh, start plowing. Right, well, we'll give it a go. So set it in really deep at first and then we'll just have to, as soon as we get the plough going in, lift her up a little bit. Try not to be in the highest gear possible, like I am. <laughs> and then we're just trying to keep it level with the furrow that we're doing. So right, I need to concentrate on trying to keep this straight. And at the end of each run, we have to turn the plough over. Some rubbish on that uh, skim there. And then we'll take it back to the same width, which wasn't right out there. It must be somewhere there. Um, and plow it back the other way. So it's going in nice. Um, should I show you the front with the wiggle? Yeah, okay. I'm not perfect. Not at keeping a straight line, but it is plowing it all right. So I've just got out and lengthened the top link because I think we're going a bit deep here. This is high. Um, it's not entirely level. There's a little bit of a low patch there from last time. And really, it needs to be like a billiard table, completely level. Um, so hopefully adjusting that will just adjust how the plough pulls, I think. What do I know, though? it's going along it should just be floating in the top link the top link should just be to pull it in when it's going into the ground and then just for lifting it out um, it should just be pulling on the arms not on the top link so it was pulling on the top link a lot so yeah I think hopefully changing that might have just adjusted it yeah, I don't think I'm doing too bad to say that you know it's been 10 years since I've done any um, bends off towards the end there a little bit but you know what I'm happy so far still going fairly straight by the looks of it yes there is a little bit of a kink there but I don't think that's too shabby so we're getting a really mucky furrow this way and a real clean one the other I'll show you in a second Really clean going that way. So I'm racking my brain thinking what's causing this. So anyway, I've just, just found it now. The disc here on this side is set deep in, so it's cutting in nice. This one is moved. So I'll have to undo that, tap that down, and then get the disc back in right. It's 100% the reason, but I cannot get it off even with a flame spanner, so... Um, yeah. If we 
daddy's coming down to see me, he'll fetch a big bar. But, um, apart from that, I've just got to persevere on. Uh, so the problem is, you see, it's like we'll be altering the depth tire will be getting lifted up by the trash that's in the bottom. Um, so yeah, it'd be, yeah, I can I can alter the depth of the wheel, I suppose, from one side to the other. Yeah, that's what I might do just to, to compensate for it. But when we get back to the farm, need to sort that out. I think it's been like that for a long time as well. It's just when you look at it, it's quite simple. That sticks out there like that much. But this one, this side, doesn't. See the distance between there and there? Look at the distance between there and there. It's touching. So that's not going in deep enough to create a nice clean fur. I, um, yeah, we're thinking about calling him. He turned up at field. So my dad's on the plow now. Some feed from cowgills. I don't think I did uh, too bad a job out there. So I ain't done any for years. Ends are all right. Yeah, these are my ends. Okay, that one's not so great. There's not big holes. And that's my corner of the field. When we go the other way, I'll just take out them little bits, but they're only like one, two strides wide. And we'll get them when we come back this way. Notice this, my pickup's done a turd. <laughs> Big beast on the way bridge. Big Bertha, eat your heart out. It's the Hilux with a scene in the back. I've just been in the house with the kids, it's just, just nice. It's nice when they're at the farm. Makes things a lot easier. Oh, pheasant flying off. There is um, a local shoot actually happening, so they're probably coming in here for a bit of safe haven. Um, yeah, it's nice. I've spoke to Becky, she's feeling better she's not feeling you know 100 percent, but she's feeling better than she was this morning which is good and she's got a mum there um, looking after her which is uh, which is good so um right i need to get the um mix going do another one of those and start feeding around so we'll get this shed opened up i think i'll give the uh, tm a quick blast of the windows because it's filthy and you can hardly see out of them and this low lying sun is no good for that job that's a bit better, it looks a bit yellow. Yes, I've not touched the wheels or anything, I just need the windows clean. This mix don't really look right. It looks like there's not enough molasses or traffic in it or something. It's uh, really light coloured. Should be quite dark. Can't really tell what's in it or not when it's mixed up, whether it's got traffic in it or not. Hmm. This, uh, this wind's really picking up, I think I better, and there's a bit of rain, I better pull that to eye looks in the shed. Otherwise that seed's gonna get wet. <clears throat> yeah, I'd just rather my dad were it, or somebody, to put that on the pallet tine. It's getting a bit close to the door, and um, he's got a few scrapes and scratches already, the eye looks, but he doesn't need a pallet tine through it. So I'm just doing a mix, because it's Esme's party tomorrow. I don't wanna be doing all this stuff. Um, and running late for her birthday, so we'll get this mix done now. And I can be number one daddy. Thinking about the colour of the mix, can you see? Now that's a different colour to that one in the back. time for mixer mentions and today it's actually on the mixer wagon it's not been for a long time and um, we're back to it it is a happy birthday to freddie turner who's four today happy birthday freddie hope you've had a great great day and then um we've raised six thousand seven hundred and ninety four pounds for yorkshire Air ambulance and yeah anybody else wants to get involved in that links in the description below it goes straight to that charity um the money i don't touch it don't get my mitts on it at all so that is about it from me, I'm thinking. Well, no, actually, I've, got, I've still got pens to do. I need to wait for my dad to come back. Hmm. Whole fire, I'm still here. So, what's, hap what's happening tomorrow, Esme? It's my birthday! Yay! 
Party! It's really exciting! Oh, God, God, it's a phone out of his hands. You're worse than the dogs. <laughs> She's looking after you. So my dad's got back with the plough, he's got that finished. Um, he desperately wants me to quickly get this done with the pens because he's um, wanting to watch the rugby. So we'll, uh, we'll get this ticked off now. Right, we'll put this away in the shed. Because we've done. Get everything safely away in the shed. And that is, yeah, about it from me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I appreciate it that people still watch after... I don't know, I think in January it'll be two years I'll have done a video every single day on YouTube, um, a little bit longer for TikTok as well. But um, yeah, I, yeah, thanks everyone for, st for sticking with it, keeping on watching and yeah, uh, enjoying the farming content. Um, if you have liked it, remember to press like, subscribe. I know I always say this at the end, I ought to say it at the start because then people would actually press the subscribe button um, rather than just popping over onto the next video but um yeah if you do that that'd be fantastic and if anybody wants any of the merch hats in stock hoodies in stock and we hopefully should be getting some more coming um yeah they're just a bit steady um at getting the merch to us but hey ho it'll be all right we'll we, we'll get it there we'll get there for christmas anyway be, be sorted right anyway i'm waffling again aren't i um i better get off thanks for watching guys bye